What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Master Blaster, a.k.a. Old School Bass Van 9. I'm doing a video today because um, I had to let you guys hear this van on a cold start. Right now, I got a squeaky belt situation going on over there. I think my belt is a little too big. And uh, I'm going to shorten it by maybe an inch or half an inch. Find a smaller one. But right now, I wanted to show you guys that, that black smoke situation. Um, right now, it's on a cold start. And... Uh, if you hear it, you will hear it running. It's not smoking as bad as it usually smoked because I went up under the hood and I had, been, I had a lot of shorts with this van before. I went up under the hood and I traced the uh, oxygen sensor main wire to make sure that it was, you know, getting receiving current. And it is. And for some reason today, as just from doing that, um, it's not throwing out the black smoke that it was throwing out before. Uh, I don't know if it was because maybe there was a short on that wire, that wire for the oxygen sensor, but right now it appears to be throwing. Uh, let's see, dripping. I guess that's from the old built-up condensation and all the old uh, unburnt fuel that was in the uh, exhaust. But it is smoking, but not as bad as it was. And it's spitting out that black, as you can see it, that black carbon is coming out of it. And now you start to see the black smoke. But I'm gonna let you sit here and, and, and also I just wanted to say I'm changing a couple of parts now that that battery's up to charge. But I had the radio playing for a while before I cut it on. It's a squeak and stop. But anyway, it's it's smoking. It's got like this smoking coming out. I don't know if you can see it. And it's also spitting out like this black stuff, this carbon. And uh, I bought an oxygen sensor that I'm gonna, I'm prepared to put on today and a, a temperature cooling sensor. One thing I heard, I learned from Google was that what could cause it to behave like that is uh, the temperature switch sending a false reading that the vehicle is cold when it's not and also my temperature meter meter is not coming up fast enough you know it takes a long time before it gets up to temperature reading on the dash and the, the oxygen sensor they, uh, when I googled they said that this could be the culprit so I went out and I bought an oxygen sensor for this thing uh, Mopar joint of course and I bought some knee pads because I'm gonna have to get down and go up in there to get to it but for some reason it's not a uh, smoking like it was smoking uh well anyway I don't know because like I said this band has had a lot of shorts it seemed like every wire that I have got up under there and re re re, re uh uh whatever you want to do whatever however you want to call it, every wire that I've redone or had some type of issue and I redid or rewired this thing uh, runs better. Now I'm not getting the smoke that I was getting out of it yesterday and the day before and all the, you know, for the few weeks. Uh, this has been going on for a minute, for about two months. And I changed the fuel pressure regulator. And it helped a lot. I got my fuel pressure up because now I can hit the accelerator and, and spin out of here. Tires that burn rubber backwards, forward. You know, I can actually cook up tires like no tomorrow. I can, I can set off a cloud of smoke out here but the thing is i got this rich fuel odor hope, hoping that that uh that the oxygen sensor solved that problem when i uh get it put on today but that's what i want you guys to know that i'm doing that and also i want to definitely let you know i want to finish this van i can't do it right now because of the weather and due to me painting outside you got a, you see the orange peel in it you guys see that orange peel now, I wanted to wet sand it and respray it with another coat, but uh, I'm not going to be able to do that until maybe next spring. So I'm going to just leave it like it is until next spring. And uh, I'm going to deal with that later, the clear coat and stuff. And then by that time, I have a more stronger generator because I bought a generator. It was a, a I think it was a 1500 watt, you know, and it's not strong enough to run a compressor I bought from Harbor Freight. Uh, I bought the Harbor Freight compressor, the 21 gallon, and uh, 
it just wouldn't work with that generator. I need something like they said, 2,000 watts to run that compressor. So I'm going to have to look for a better compressor. Over 2,000 watts, something like 3,000 watts would be just fine. Perfect for what I need it for. And then next year, I'm going to get out here and I'm going to uh, redo it anyway. Because I got a lot of imperfections I want to take care of. This was something I just did real quick to get it done. And to have something to do. But we're going to get it better than this. So I just want to let you guys know what's up. We're going to be putting the oxygen sensor temperature switch today. And next week, um, today, later on today, I'm going to go order, uh, um, what is that that I was going to have to get? Oh, EGR valve. And that's another thing that would cause it to smoke, throw black smoke like that. So, uh, you guys, peace out. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. And hopefully, that next video will be me solving that problem with that black smoke that you see running right there. Okay. Peace out, guys.